Hello and welcome back to The Daily Brew, the devotional where every day we drink a new brew of coffee and we see what God is brewing for us in the Bible. Yes, it's cheesy, but it's true. And you join me for day 339 of 365 days of Bible reading, which means we only have 26 days to go. And then we have finished the Bible cover to cover. A massive welcome back to everybody on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube and all of our other platforms. It is awesome to have you here with me today. Now, I'm so sorry for the fact that I was slurring and stumbling around a little bit yesterday. I've got a significant ear infection in this ear and uh, right now I can't hear anything but everything's vibrating through my head. So it's kind of like when you speak and then you hear the echo later except it's happening real time. So it's a little bit discombobulating. I apologize. I will try my very best to stay focused and stay on this as well. But uh, it's going to be like this for a wee while. But we're going we're gonna to do it. We're going to try our best to get through. Let's have a look at what scriptures we're going to be reading today. And then we'll get into our coffee for 339. That's the day we're on today. It's crazy. Okay, Psalm 139 verse 1 to 10. 1 John chapter 5 verse 1 to 21. And Daniel chapter 11 verse 36 to chapter 12 verse 13. So those are our scriptures for today. Make sure you have a look at those as well. For the last time, we are going to be having our supreme, organic, sweet and balanced coffee. Yesterday, a 6 out of 10 for the plunger, a 0.5 increase. I'm not sure this is going to be any better today in the espresso. It's piping hot. Let's give it a go, though, and see what it tastes like and see if we can get it any higher than a 6. Cheers. Honestly, I can't really tell much of the difference between, apart from the texture... It is, to be fair, it is balanced. Like, it's not super acidic It's not super bitter. It's been very consistent throughout the whole time. So for that, it should sit around a five or a six. In terms of the flavor, I'm not really not really getting anything. I think the fact that it is light, uh, it's sweet, which is quite a light sweetness. It's not a heavy, strong, sugary sweetness. Uh, so because of that, I'm gonna, I am going to keep it at a six out of 10. I can't give it any higher than that. But, uh, but a 10 out of 10 for it being consistent but a 6 out of 10 in terms of the overall coffee experience. That is it for the brews today. Let's get into the Bible, the reason that we are here. Our purpose on this earth is to know God and be known by Him. Verse 1 today says, O Lord, you have searched me and you know me. To be known by God is one of the greatest joys of life. Like, if you actually sit there and think about it, like comprehend that for a second. From all the people that have ever been to all the people that will ever be, God knows you. He knows you personally, by name. Not only that, the Bible says that he knows all the hairs on your head. I mean, imagine if that was enough for us on the earth. It's amazing to me that no matter what happens in my life, I'll never be able to escape the reality that God loves me enough to know me personally. I want to be someone who surrenders and yields to the personal God who knows me intimately and personally. If we're going to do that, this all starts with giving the authority and lordship of our lives back to God. The moment that we do, we we become born of God, which is what John refers to in today's passage. Our Father in heaven responds and reacts to his children here on the earth below. And what a blessing it is to have a Father who loves and desires to be with us. One of the questions that comes up every now and again when it comes to Jesus is, well, how do we know that Jesus is the Son of God? Today, there are three indicators that we see that confirm that he's the son of God in verses 6, 7, and 8. They are water, blood, and spirit. I encourage you to read those today. We can be confident in who Jesus is because of these three things. We we have a Jesus who is authentically, dang it, I thought I had that, authentically the son of God and also the son of man. And it is with this confidence that we're to interact with God. Verse 14 to 15 says this, it's coming coming up on screen. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we asked of him. We can have this confidence in approaching God to ask him for anything according to his will. Your will be done, your kingdom come here on earth as it is in heaven. That's the cry of my heart. And finally today in Daniel, we see that we're blessed to be a blessing to others. This whole Christianity thing is not just for us to get a ticket to heaven, but it's actually to help others find God too. We've been made purified, spotless, and purified. We are are purified by the blood of Jesus. 
And this is not just so that we can look pretty to the world around us, but so that we can actually invest into the people around us and help them find the same thing that we have too. This is the act of discipleship, to help people find the same love, grace, and mercy that we have found and live life in a way that best reflects God to the world around us. Helping point people to the personhood of Jesus so that they can become more like him too is the act of discipleship. Jesus is coming back to redeem and restore those who have been called according to his name. You know what's awesome is that we have a job to do. That's our job is to help people as people who have been purified, help point people to the personhood of Jesus so they can also find their salvation, their redemption, their purification, their atonement through the blood of Jesus as well. The good news is this. We don't do this alone. We don't have to be worried about our work. Jesus has gone before us and he's given us the Holy Spirit, our empowerer, to go with us today so that we can see success in everything that we do. Verse of the day. Verse of the day today, 1 John chapter 5, verse 12. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. It's pretty plain and simple, isn't it? If you don't have the Son of God, you don't have life. If you do, you do. Don't believe all the hype. People who do not have Jesus might look on the outside that their life is awesome and put together, but in the end, they will see that they did not have life at all. And that's another reason to try and help people find Jesus so they can actually live the life that God has for them. But that is it for the Daily Brew today, day 339 of 365 days of Bible reading done and dusted. Thank you so much for joining me. No matter where you are around the world, I'm praying for you as you open up the scriptures that God would reveal more of himself to you and more of yourself to yourself as well as you read the mirror of God's word. That is it though for today. If it is the start of your day, have a great rest of your day, unless it's sleep time. Good night, sleep tight, and we'll see you tomorrow. Ear infection and all, back here tomorrow on The Daily Brew.